Huge organisms that are neither animals nor plants populate the earth. They are males, females and hermaphrodites and they help to keep the ecosystem in balance. May we introduce algae. The algae are uh, organisms that are very different from uh, animals or plants or specifically the brown algae. So they are neither plants neither animals. So they are a group of, of organisms that has evolved totally independently from a last common ancestor that was unicellular. So many years ago I started becoming interested in these organisms because no one really uh, worked on them. And uh, yeah, so we are interested in understanding how they reproduce, so how they make a male versus a female. Are there hermaphrodites? So we are, we are studying all these processes of reproduction that are very important ecologically. This is why studying algae means diving into a cosmos of intriguingly complex, unfamiliar organisms. Well, the algae are quite fascinating because they show this large diversity of types of sexual systems. So they reproduce in many different ways. For instance, you can have uh, when a male and a female gamete uh, are released in the seawater to, to meet. If they don't meet the two gametes, they can still develop by themselves. So they have this alternative sort of life cycle where a gamete that doesn't meet its partner, it can still grow as an adult organism. We try to understand what are the genes that are involved in these processes, how, uh, how you build an algae, uh, because these organisms can be like 60 meters high. They are, they are really complex in terms of, of morphology and they will start from one single tiny cell in the ocean. So uh, we find this fascinating. But algae are not just fascinating by themselves. Their role for our planet is vitally important. The brown algae, they, they are like forests. So these kelp forests are one of the most biodiverse uh, ecosystems in the planet. And they, they provide the basis of all the ecosystems. So fish, they pond eggs on the algae, and then you have all the chain, all the, all the next system lives around this, this algae. So they are really like forests. And they, of course, produce a lot of oxygen, so in coastal areas they are very, very important primary producers. So we talk a lot of carbon in the atmosphere and all the all these environmental uh, problems that exist. And the algae are very important in this respect because they, they act as carbon sinks also. If you are a young researcher, it might be just the right moment for you to join the algae movement. We are quite broad, so we use a number of different approaches, uh, genetic, genomic approaches, eco ecology, uh, evolution, uh, to just to try to shed light into, into this group of organisms. It's very challenging because it's a group of organisms that we know very little, but we have developed now many tools. So I think it's really the moment now, we have all the tools in hand to really to understand how these organisms function. Um, yeah, so I think it's out-of-the-box research. <laughs>